welcome guys to the, my channel and welcome to the next episode of Volcano Block, a modded Minecraft adventure. Um, so yeah, last episode was a little bit long, but I think it was all worth it in the end. We managed to finish, I haven't actually collected the rewards from these, let me do these a second. So we have a first 1k storage upgrade for the barrels, drum storage and wall, which is another mod pack we will be checking out eventually. But not just yet. Um, but yeah, so we completed chapter 2, which means we get to move on to chapter 3, which looks like it's to do with mods. Uh, mods, sorry. Mobs. And uh, yeah, so they got the like, mob spawners. We get into uh, some new ingots as well. And uh, yeah, just getting into more complicated and uh, more interesting mod packs. Um, but yeah, so. That's what we did last last episode, finished chapter 2. This episode we're going to start off with our storage situation. Now you guys, I have showed you most of the base and what we're doing. I will quickly explain that as well. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the main tower, the main base of operations. Where all the machines going to be, all the crafting, all the automation. That's all going to be in here. And it's going to, every time we need a new floor, obviously we're going to increase that up, put some stairs in the middle and etc etc, make it look really nice. Um, here is just going to be, I don't really know what I want to put here at the moment, I know the way I want it to look, so we got, actually I could go and do that now quickly, let me just grab uh, a bucket. So I want this area here in the middle is going to be our nether portal. These are not going to be there, guys. These are going to be stone. Um, but I'm just waiting for this grass to grow here. Because it's got a few more patches. But yeah, we're going to have a nether portal in the middle surrounded by mysterious grass. And around the outside, I'm going to have this sort of like water moat, you know, water feature going around. I think it's going to look really nice once it's done. Just takes the plainness of it. And being as we're in lava as well, you know, it's nice to see water instead of just that red sea of lava, right? So we're going to have this going all the way around the outside of this area, like so, and it's going to go around, it's all three wide, so one, two, three, so it's going to be three wide all the way around, like so, so it's all equal, and uh, yeah, just just looks good. Yeah, just looks good, and it's going to look good when it's finished. So we're going to finish this today, this sector, hopefully. I'm just waiting, like I said, waiting for that grass, and then we'll put the uh, nether portal down. But that's where we're going to be putting, like, outside machines, yeah? Um, we've got to make, actually, we've got to make the crystal charger. I might do that this episode as well. Also, over here, we have our field of crystals, what I called it. And that's what I am going to call it, is a field of crystals. So this is our energy on crystal seeds. We're going to have a whole field of these bad boys and uh, you know, hopefully we'll never run out of energy on the cell, you know, the dust. So that'd be nice. We've also got food growing here, we've got flax, we've got our normies, we've got our instabilis seeds, we've got two fields of these here. We've got our pex pixelis seeds. I'm not sure if we need these anymore. I'm gonna, I'm not, we might need them down in the future, we might need a lot more of these, uh, these unique crops down in the future, which means I'm gonna probably do a level up so we have like a few levels of farms i uh, got some beetroot because red dye is important for like gunpowder for the explosive furnace and obviously our wheat for grass and stuff like that and here is our artesia seeds which is for crafting our uh, unique crops over here obviously we have our big blocks of cobblestone big stacks of cobblestone which is turning into ancient stone okay they are just chumming away nicely. We've got four lots. We can put one there and one there, but I think four is plenty with a chest here with our ancient cobblestone in. We have our explosion furnace. We've got our amplifying tubes. I want to put two more next to it so we can, you know, boost the performance up of that. And obviously our cobblestone generation over here when we want cobblestone. So yeah, that is a little bit about the base, guys. A little bit showcase of the base because I didn't really show it off last episode. Uh, I basically built it in between. I want to get this lot sorted so we have no more of these chests. So this is where we're going to be going. Now we're going to be getting onto the simple, not simple storage, sorry, the storage drawers mod. And I'll be showing you this, guys. 
Okay, so over here we have our storage drawer table, and this is where we can create customized storage drawers. So there are normal storage drawers you can make. And I've got some over here. So you can make normal storage drawers simply with so that's what they look like and obviously you've got oak you got dark oak or spruce sorry there is dark oak ones uh, acacia jungle etc etc we got <coughs> excuse me sorry we got the basic single draw which holds up to 32 stacks of 64 per draw we have the one by two which holds 16 stacks per draw and we have the 2x2, two two, which holds 8 stacks. And then obviously we've got them as well, but in half, which means less product. Okay. And then we've got the framed drawers, which is what we need for these. So in order to make the framed drawers, we are going to want some oak, uh, oak planks. We want two lots of them. We're going to want some sticks as well. We're going to want some turn one stack of these into chests. And then we want to click the frame drawers we want. We want these 1x2s, so it has 16 stacks per, you know, one for the top, one for the bottom. So 16 times 32 there, 16 times 32 there. I'm not good at math, so I'm not going to work that out. I do know it, but not this time I'm in anyway. So we want to create these, so let's create eight of them. And then we want to bring them over to here. Go on to click them into the first slot here and then in these next slots okay so that's what that's going to look like so in the next slots we want our materials now the arrows do show you where they go but it's not obviously not fully understanding but the top one here is going to be the main part of the draw or yeah part of the draw so it's going to be the the stone stuff here the stone look so we're going to go for that like that and that's what that looks like now so that's going to go with the main theme of this base and then we've got obsidian which is going to be used for the trim just to take that accent off a little bit to break it down a little bit and i think it looks really nice at the front there and then we're going to go block of quartz for the actual draw colors itself because again i think that looks really really nice i do like that white accent that white tone in minecraft um, usually i go dark oak with white but we're going to go with this stone obsidian and white because I don't have any dark oak so I can't really because I would have done dark oak trim if we had some but yeah so that is what you want to do that's as simple as that we're going to shift click them so we have a whole stack of them and we're just going to place them down we're just going to fill up all of this here we've got some more so we're doing there beautiful Okay, so hopefully we're going to have a whole, well not a whole wall of these, but it might end up being a whole wall of these. Um, behind, by the way, just so we're, you're clear, I want to do glass, like a like a glass window, yeah? Going up. Um, this part here, I'm unsure whether I want it split for like the next level because it's not going to be like a U-shape and then a U-shape. It's going to be like a big like circle shape. But split in half between the floors okay um so i don't know whether i want that because from the outside it looks all right it might look all right once the glass is in it might not i will see about that but i've been looking at the types of glass so i know i'm going off subject here but i just wanted to make sure you guys understand why i've left the gaps there um i have been looking at the glass i do like this framed frame uh, there framed glass sorry i do like this framed glass and i'm more likely to be using that i won't be using paints it will be blocks um but then i don't know paints might look good paints might look good i don't know but that's something that's going to be over time filling up but uh, yeah so these are going to probably be covering majority of this i don't know i might even do I might even try and follow this, yeah, so we'll have storage boxes going up this side, then down to this being the lower level, then up to there, just to take the plainness off and not make it look so, well, storage drawery, so to speak, yeah. But yeah, so the next thing we want to do, okay, so going back onto subject, the next thing we want to do is we want to create the controller, uh, which is there, we want to create this draw controller which I apparently already have in there. And we also want to create the drawer key, which means we can lock the drawers so that, like for instance, if we want this charcoal here, when we take it, it clears it. Um, but with a key, we can lock it so that, uh, actually let's create that and I can show you, can't I? What do we want? We want an upgrade template, two gold ingots and a gold nugget. So let's take two of them, 
go nuggets to go over here. And here, so we'll take one of them. And then I think we're going to need... Is it paper we need for the... No, we don't. We need these though. Let's grab them. Uh, we've got sticks on us. Come here. We're going to craft a load of these. Because I will show you what these are for as well. And then we'll create the drawer key. So with the drawer key, like I said, we can now lock that. Which means if we take that charcoal, we took all the charcoal out of there. There is none in this drawer at all, as you can see. It's not showing you. Like if we look there, it tells you top left. It's got 21 nether crystal in this one. It doesn't show you anything because there's nothing but the item is locked to that chest. So that means that... You know, you know, if you've got this all organized like I have, so like all this is going to be ingots. You've got dust down here with little bits, you know, little extra bits there. We've got blocks all the way down there, and then up here is going to be the other things. So we're going to put like, well, I'll be, I'll be, you know, you'll see it once it's done. But yeah, so it's all going to be organized and know where I want it. And like this is going to be mainly cobblestone. So what we can do is we can go around, lock all these drawers. We can even lock the ones that haven't got anything in. Because what's good about the storage drawer mod, even though they are locked, we can still alter them by adding things. So if I wanted to, say for instance, I want to put these baked potatoes in this pre-locked drawer, I can. But if I want to take them all out, I can't. It's still got to be unlocked for that. Yeah, um, but obviously make sure you unlock it before you clear it if you want to clear the drawer out. But yeah, so that is a little bit about the drawer key. Very useful for this mod. This is why I love, I do love storage drawers. Ever since I first started them, like, I don't know, three, I think it's like three, four mod packs ago. Maybe more than that. Um, I just fell in love with it. I haven't stopped using it. It is a very good mod pack. Um, next thing we want to look at, like I said, is the draw controller. And the draw controller is the main thing that makes all this come together. Yeah? So for this, we want five stone, one diamond. So five, that's six. One, two, three, four, five. Can't count, apparently. So five, six, one diamond. Uh, should have in here. Nice. I can't wait till this is all over here sorted out. It's going to be so nice. You guys are going to love it. Absolutely love it. We got one draw which we got there. Uh, I've lost it again. Where is it? And then we want some more. We want six more stone. Oh, I just take a freaking load because I've lost count already. <laughs> we want sticks. We want redstone. So we want to make. Six redstone torches, and then we need obviously our nether quartz, but in but not the block version. Do we have any already prepared? Not there, we don't. I don't think we do. Okay, so let's grab two blocks. Take it over to our grinder and uh, let's turn that into some nether quartz. So yeah, so I'll show you the draw controller in a minute, guys. All right. So what we're going to do here, whilst we wait for that, is we're going to look into the dark gem to start chapter three. So create a dark ore with your atomic reshaper. So atomic reshaper. Where we grind what? Oh, we got to make dark ore. Okay, sorry, my bad. All right, so for this, it's stone with a primordium. Right, okay, so we need... We can just whack with these stones in. We need primordium, so let's grab one of them. Uh, we need to get rid of this primordius reactor. I need to make another one of these energy on... What? An oh, it's from the, that. Oh, I'm cooking myself. Nice. I thought, what? How come there's... Lower effect, but no, I'm kicking myself, that's why. Uh, so, yeah, we do need to make another energy on arrow heater, to be honest with you. Need to make another one of them. Alright, atomic reshaper, because it is 250 for this, yes. So, yeah, we need to make another energy on uh, arrow heater. I might do that. Yeah, we'll do that this episode, guys. We'll do that this episode. So, let's stick that in. It gives us 100 primordium units. And let's stick... No, I don't want all that stone in there. 
the C if that gives us what we want. Oh, okay. Well, in a way, that's good, but also in a way, that's bad. Hmm. So we're going to get all our ores from this then. This makes me want to actually set up a whole system of these atomic reshapers. And set up a... Is it 10 per 1 then? Yeah, it's 10 per 1. But set up a whole ore. Automate, you know, automatic ore uh, thing for that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no. What? Where's, how do I get another quartz again? I thought it was in there. Is it not in there? Oh my god, am I wrong? Where do we do this again? Oh, it's the... Yeah, so it's nether quartz dust in, in the magnetic... No, I wasn't wrong. I was right. Magnetic reassembler. That goes in the magnetic reassembler. That's the one. I was right. I wasn't wrong. I knew that. It's lapis, so it didn't get anything we wanted then. But, that kind of makes you want to do something with that. I'm gonna have to live I'm gonna have to figure something out for that, I think. Maybe we'll set up some sort of automated system in getting our ores. I think that'd be quite cool. Um so yeah, why don't we then make another energy on arrow heater here a sec? So energy on arrow heater, we're gonna want two infernal crystals, which is infernal fuel, carbon dust, ash and blaze powder, which means we do need to go fish with blaze roll actually. Okay, there's two blaze rods um, fished for. Got some magma cream in them as well, which is uh, nice, but not really sort of useful at this precise moment in time. So. Well, we haven't had to use uh, magma cream for a while. Let's just say that, okay? Uh, let's put that away and put that away in there. So we can make now our infernal powder. It is infernal powder. Inferno fuel. So that and that and that one. Craft that up. And then that's gotta go into the what is it? Magnetic reassembler. Which is here. And it goes in there. Oh, we need more fuel in here. We've got to find a better way of getting coal and charcoal. Really do need to find a better way of doing that. Um, but yeah, so once that's cooking, let's crack on and get this drawer controller done. So we want two of the comparators, and there is the drawer controller. Now with the drawer controller, we can put the drawer controller right there, and then this is where the whole setup becomes complete. Yes, so what we want to do, if we... We've got quite a few bits on here that can be put in here. Let's actually put the nether quartz dust away here somewhere. You know, the nether crystal there. And then if we hold our right mouse button on here, that is going to clear all our inventory and it's going to automatically sort everything out into the respectable places. So we can put like that in there. So we've got carbon dust and ash. Um, let's go and see what else we can put in here. We've got diamonds, emeralds and stuff like that that need to be there. So pristine diamond, pristine emerald, pristine lapis. Normal emerald, normal diamond, glowstone dust. That can go into there. Magma cream, maybe. Can go in there. Those two. Uh, so let's go put these in. So that's a pristine diamond, pristine emerald, pristine lapis. And we do the normal diamond and emerald there. We'll put magma cream under that one. Glowstone dust can go next to that. So yeah, once you get to a point where you think, well, hang on, you know, the clay's not going in, you can add a drawer slave or controller slave, and that will extend the range of the controller. If you understood that, I hope you understood that, guys. And the other thing is the compacting drawer. We will be playing with them. They are ideal for ingots. So we can put... Um, actually, I will see... No, wrong one. What is the... How pricey are these? Uh, I've got to make a piston, so that's not too bad. I might show you that, guys, um, later on in the episodes with the ingots. But at the moment, we should be fine. And then we'll get into the upgrades. So, with these upgrade templates, which are basically just sticks, 
and a draw. So any draw would do, not the trim. Okay, it's got to be a drawer, and that will make you two templates per, you know, craft. And then we have upgrades. So we can go storage upgrade one, which if we add two obsidian with a template and six sticks, give us one, and that basically increases the storage by two. And we have storage upgrade two, which is iron, which is by four. Gold is eight. Diamond is 16, emerald is 32. Then we have a storage downgrade, which reduces the base storage to a single stack. I don't know why that would be needed, but i um, sure someone who is watching this, maybe, you know why. Um, we have a status upgrade shows full storage. I've never used that. And status upgrade shows fill level. I've never used that as well. We may play around with them this time. We have a void upgrade, which destroys excess items. So if you say, for instance, like the cobblestone, Okay, um, if you've got like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50,000 or 100,000 cobblestone in this one drawer and you think, well, I don't need any more than that. Okay, if you get the void upgrade, every time you add more to it, that, um, you know, once that storage reaches the limit, the void upgrade would destroy any other extra um, ones you put into that. So it is a pretty good mod if you want to keep a level on excess materials that uh, I'll get in crafting like an automation, automated system like, okay? We have conversion up, upgrade, auto converts compatible items. Again, haven't used that one. A creative storage upgrade, near infinity storage. That is obviously, and the creative ending upgrade, which is unlimited item withdrawal. Those two there are end game. I don't know if we'll be doing them this later, I don't know. Uh, redstone upgrade emits signal for a total storage, and then we have redstone max emits signal for most full starts, and then the redstone minimum upgrade. So the main things we are going to be playing around with these is probably the void. We're going to be looking at these status upgrades, and obviously normal upgrades. But at the moment, we don't need them, guys. Actually, I could sh we could do one for maybe the cobblestone just so I can show you built. We're going to do not that one, normal emerald. We're going to do emerald. We need some sticks here, so we're going to go there. There and there, which is going to give us our storage upgrade 5, which is the max, and that is going to increase our storage to 32 times. So, if we look at the stone, the cobblestone, this draw here, okay, um, it holds 32 stacks of 64. Yeah, and we can have two, four, six, we can have seven upgrades in total, and if we put the 32 stack in there that is going to increase this now it usually shows us but it's not actually showing me but that's that's perfectly fine i think that's what these are for anyway but um yeah now this is now not 32 times but it's 32 times 32 which is what jesus i don't know what that is but yes yeah, 32 uh, what is it 500 and something something like that but uh yeah that definitely increases it you haven't got a you haven't got to uh, control click that you can just click that on it like right clicking on it and that will put the upgrade in but if you do want to access this um, just control and yeah I know it looks like I'm sh crouching because my key by mine crouch to control but yeah so that's, that's that's it that's enough talking about the storage I think I don't think we need to talk any more about that um, if I have missed something that you guys want to know about the storage just let me know in the description down below and uh, yeah I'll fill you in on the uh, following episode if I if, if, if I can okay finally got one beautiful right so then we got to put that into the rotary grinder I do apologize for the noise of my chain hitting my desk or scratching along my desk I do apologize for that if you can hear that pardon me as well that's nice Mate, it does look pretty, that crystal field from up here. I love it. I love I love the way this base is taking shape now. You know, it looked hideous the past few episodes, but yeah, this just it's definitely taking shape, guys. What do you think? What are your thoughts on it? You like it? It obviously, you know, eventually is going to take a little bit more shape, a little bit more colour into it as well. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be over time. Okay. So we have our dark gem. Nether, nether chest, okay. And evil craft, obtained by feeding a dark and nap into. Oh, okay, that's just does really good. But we get it for free anyway. So what is origins of darkness? First age, stranger with relics, items, vengeance, spirits. Second age, a 
I've not played around with this mod before, so this is new to me. Preface. It would seem this world holds more than meets the eye. There are things that we'll conclude in this book. More reasons of acquired knowledge of the obscurity of residue here. Blah de blah de blah. Many kinds of magic exist in the world, but the kind you can achieve with blood seems different. Notice people cut themselves to obtain the blood. I prefer to spare my strength for some other things. Structure of this book explains the two major parts for the two ages of evilness. I like to classify everything in. I consider everything for my coming to this world as the first age and my life's work of the second age. So, first age. Let's just go through it, I think. Strange New World. Introduction, Dark World, Dark Apple. Introduction. Dark World, Spread of Steel. Okay. Yeah. Dark Bricks. Yeah, that looks nice. Dark Bricks looks really nice. Uh, as you are reading this book, you might have already come across the item combining an apple and the dark gem results in a special apple that, when eaten, inflicts large amounts of damage for a certain time. If the entity dies because of this effect, it would leave behind some kind of anomaly. I have yet to discover any uses for this phenomenon. So, don't do that. Evil Dungeon. Dark Temple. Okay. Crafting. Weather Container. Okay. Alright, so there looks like there is a whole, whole section to this mod pack that we might have to get into. I don't know if we got to get into it. I am sure for shit we do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I want to get down this Carmite route. Alright, so Carmite. Uh, again, I've already got it on there. Why is it already... Let's just clear this. I've got so much crap here. I don't know what's up here or not. Let's just clear all this. And by the way, to clear it is just pressing A on it. Let's clear all that. Let's start adding things again. So we want Carmite Blend. Uh, Ember Activator. What does an Ember Activator? Embers Rekindled. What does that give us? It gives us the ancient codex for embers rekindled. Okay, is that easy to make? Copper. Oh my god, that is easy to make. We'll add that one as well then. But uh, carbonite blend. Let's have a look at this, shall we? So for this blend, we are going to want bone meal, sand, clay, and mist. Oh, all that. We got all that. Clay. Uh, sand. Uh, where's my bone mill? Bone mill's there. And mysterious dust. Let's grab a load of that. There. There. Oh, it's one. One. Okay, it's not. Oh. Alright. Well, in that case, then. Go like that. Go like that. Go like that one. And I've got some clay. Uh, clay uh, blobs down here. I need some more bone meal. We should have enough to do the 16 then. We should have enough to do actually plenty. No, we don't. Oh, we're already clean. That's fine. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So now we kind of want to put this into a spot. So we'll put it there. We'll take all of that though. That's locked into place, guys. Okay. Um, so with this carmonite blend. We can now make raw carbonite plates, and those carbonite plates are in turn um, once obviously cooked. If you want to put it that way, uh, we can make our item extractors and stuff for embers rekindled. So carbonite. So we just got the truck. Let's just craft them into there. Let's put that one away there. Let's go and throw these on the lava. Nicely done. And now with these, we can now make like a fluid extractor, melter, item extractor. That is going to be essential. So we need item pipes. For item pipes, we need lead ingots. Actually, we don't have lead. We've not found lead. Okay. So how do we get lead then? Ah, are we gonna? Oh, hang on, did we get did we get any lead ore from there? Emeralds. We did get a lead ore. Can we use this in the grinder to double it? No, you can't use it in the grinder. Okay. So lead ore. 
we can use in the melter. That gives us two ingots worth. It does give us two ingots worth. So this is basically... Right, okay. So, alright, let's get and crack on to this. Let's have a look into this Ember Tree Kindle mod. This is, looks like it's going to be fun. I'm actually looking forward to this. So, six covering got two iron in got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, I think I just got three, but it's fine. A furnace. And then we need the Ember Activator. So with that, we're going to get our Ancient Codex. We'll get a Tinker's Lens and an Ember Dial. Okay, um, Ancient Codex is there. Let's have a look into this. Oh, what? Oh, okay. This is, this looks cool as anything. All right, Ores, Carmenite, Ancient Construction. Constructs. Antique adversaries. Rarely the world's strange constructs resembling humanoids have been known to be found. Okay, well, we haven't got anything like that at the moment. Ores. Deep in the vaults of the solid earth, the novice digger may find many useful minerals, namely copper, lead, silver, and quartz. Copper has many applications as a conductor, lead is a dull and malleable metal, and silver is a channeler for the arcane quartz. As well, proves a good source. Oh, no, hang on. For the arcane quartz, as well, proves a good source for the crystalline matter. Okay, is that that's still glowing? But that's fine. Uh, sturdy ceramic carbonite is a very sturdy ceramic mixed from a bit of clay and sand. And the mixture yields when baked a material that I believe will be hard enough for your pro purposes throughout all of your mechanical ambitions. All right, needs ember activator, which we do have one. Ember activator. So let's park let's park this down somewhere. Let's put it down there. Oh wow. Look at this thing. This thing looks freaking awesome, doesn't it? Needs Ember Activator. What's it mean by that? I don't know. Nope, wrong button. Click to view recipe. Ember Dial. Large, durable plum. Lighter than air. Dirigible. Sorry, not. What the. That's it. That's as durable, doesn't it? Yeah? But this is a dirigible plum. Harvested from dirigible plum seeds. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to get into some new seeds here. So let's grab. Where's our books? We need to. We need to start carrying these books around. <laughs> we need to start carrying books around. Why are you gonna do that? Let's do that. So that can go in there for the time being. That one, because I still yet to make the Nether portal because that grass still hasn't grown. Bloody grass. Food book. I'm not worried about quest book because that's already key bind. And these two books as well. Alright, okay, so we want. Is it. Half well. What am I doing? What am I looking at? No, crops. Where is my crop book? Is my crops. There you are. Okay, we need the dirigible plums. So dirigible plums. These dirigible plums seem to be filled with helium. That would explain why some fully grown plums keep flying away. Best to pick up the plums when they drop as soon as possible. Oh, it doesn't tell me how to make them. Of course it doesn't. Dirigible plum. Dirigible plum seed. So, pumpkin, collis, and sugar. So, pumpkin, we're going to need to grow some pumpkins. We got collis seeds, so that's fine. Sugar is just sugar cane. I don't have any more, do I? No? Okay, so let's go and grow some. I'm just going to use this bit down here. Um, mm, no. Yeah, no, I'm not. Because I need that grass. I'll wait for that grass so long. <laughs> I'm not wasting it, guys. I'm not wasting it. Uh, let's get rid of get rid of all these beet roots. There. Uh, 
and then sugar sugar do 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 oh honey honey candy cane candy cane candy cane sugar cane sorry oh, bloody candy cane let's do a couple of these oh actually do i have oh well, i yeah, i got some 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 I was going to say, hang on, I'm not going to use all these, am I? Okay, so we've got to whack all these onto our artis artisia seeds. Get it right. One. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there is our first dirigible plum seed. Let's do this all again. One, two, three, four. 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 They didn't go in. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now, let's think about where I'm putting these. I might put them here. Over the pixel pixel seeds. So let's do them here. Can we speed them up? Yeah, baby. Come on. Let's fart on these fertilizer farts here. Nice, and they just pop off. I want to see what happens when they pop off and you believe them. Wee! Oh, mate, that's so cool. I like it. I like it. Mate, these things are pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. So, can we pl replant these? No. Oh, so in order to get more plum seeds, we needed a large dirigible plum, which is obviously nine dirigible plums. So let's get a good load of these going. Just stand in the middle, it should automatically, if I stand here, they should automatically get sucked in. So a couple minutes later, we have 41 plums. So now we got that. What do we do with this? Oh, so with will pork. Very nice. Okay, so now we need to set up an ember receptor. You will need these gadgets to operate any of your ember's contraptions. So an ember receptor, ember emitter, and a tinker's hammer. So ember receptor. Let's put them down. And the ember emitter. So the Ember Emitter does need a large durable plum. We need copper, iron, and more calamite. So let's just go with that, that. Because we're going to need a lot of them. Uh, Ember Emitter. And the... Oh, four. Oh, this is how... Okay, so this... So the Emitter... And the receptor. the receptor can be attached to RF slash FE compatible machines to power them with Ember. Okay. And the last thing we need is a Tinker's Hammer. Shouldn't be an issue. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one, one. One, one. Tinker's Hammer. Okay. Let's go and empty myself here a second. There, 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 there. I can go in there. That one as well. Okay. Camonite lever. So, melter is the next thing, but in order for that, we need ember crystals and the promise of tenacity one. So, we need to go down this road. 3D glasses. What are these for? I don't know what they're for. Okay. So we're getting into things I've never played with, guys. So I'm learning now. Kind of the same time as you are, guys. So. Why? So Ember Activator, which is this. And 
Needs Ember Activator. What do you mean by that? How does that work? So, Ember Activator. So let's put in the mod pack, which is Ember's... Oh, my mouse is playing right up today, Jesus. Ember's Rekindled. Ember Grit, Ember Shard. So Ember... Ember's Activator. It doesn't tell me anything about them, and I don't know how to read about them. Carmenite. This, I can't move this or anything. Hmm. Okay. So how do we get started? Do we need some sort of... You can eat these. I'm going to eat one. Oh! Levitation. It's levitation, cow. Right. Okay. That's not the words, but yeah. Alright, um... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore, right? Give me a break. Okay, so emitter and C receptor. So emitter. What if we put one of these down? And one of these down just look. So this actually no, this has got to go So the emitter has to go on something that uses RF and FE. Yeah. But I can't see I can't access any of these. Hmm. So, why do we need these? No? Oh, sorry, my bad. No? Okay. What if we put a lever down? Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on! Thank you. So, still nothing. Maybe we do need this ember crystal then. Ember Dial Tinker's Lens. Let's have a look at these. What's a what's a Tinker's Lens? Is that something that goes in a bubble slot? Nope. So go on here. Nope. Okay, Tinker's Lens. Oh, so we just hold it. I see. Right, okay. Items, Ember, Machine, Accessor, Slot, Ember... Ember. Items, Ember, Machine Slot, okay. And the dial. Oh, that goes on there, okay. Ember 0 0.0 X1600. So it makes me want, makes me think this Ember activator, you gotta put something in there, right? <laughs> so Ember Crystal. Which is Ember Shard. And Ember Shard is made by what? Probably Ember Grit, right? No? Alright, um, yeah, I still don't know. I still don't know. So, I think we do have to go down this route here to get an Ember Crystal. So let's do that. Right, so we're going to need the 3D glasses, okay? So wool, which is just string. One, two, three, four. Um, obscured glass. Can we just use normal glass here, please? Can we or can we not? Yes, we can. So just normal glass with a dark. Arcane crystal, which I think is over here. Yeah, I'll put it in there. So we want that around there. I'm only going to do one of these. Okay, so that gives us eight. And that will do the 3D glasses. What are these 3D glasses for? There's nothing, no change there. Okay. Okay, so let's do them. It doesn't tell me anything about them. Pixel glasses. Press V to toggle glasses. 
and maybe we're gonna have them on. Press V. Oh my God, that's horrible. Okay, I don't know that. That's gonna do my eyes. Okay, so invisibilia seeds it requires the user to wear 3D glasses in order to be seen. So that's why we need 3D glasses. Okay. So for this, we need dark gem, glass, and golden rod. So we should have golden rods in there. Beautiful. I have to get a farm of golden rods going up again, but I need to put this tower up first, guys. For that. Uh, that one, that one. Okay, so we're going to do this on the Artesia seeds, obviously. So let's put these down here. That one, that one, and that one. I think we're going to have to grind these dark gems out. Hmm. One, and then it's... Four of each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I guess this is the invisible, invisibilia seeds. Let's find a nice little patch here to grow these. Let's just use these beet roots for the time being. Um, and I just ruined that patch. Let's put that one down there. Now, we need 3D glasses on the says to be able to view these. There they are. Beautiful. Okay. We can speed the growing time up. Fully grown. And I'll take a bit of break. Yes, we do. Okay. So, invisibilia twine. Harvest from invisibilia seeds. Okay, so let's keep these 3D glasses on. We don't need the helmet on, do we? Just put that one away. No, not that one. That one, that one, and that one. That one can go away as well. Let's put these in here. Oh, come on, stupid. That in there. Okay, so it's that one. Midnight Fizz. Not yet, what does it taste like? We will test that out. But, uh, not yet. Uh, Mary Jane Seeds. Use blaze powder into the bone meal as its fertilizer. So we're going to need... To, yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. We're going to need to grind out these dark gems, guys. And it looks like I'm going to have to grind out some blaze rods as well. Right. We could go down to spawners, maybe. In order that, we need fossil dirt. Dirt with fossils, dirt with frozen fossils, dirt with fossils of moss, and dirt with glowing fossils. By transforming coarse dirt into these fossils, we can gather the materials we need to summon creatures. Right. Okay. So, I think, guys, I'm going to call it there. We've done a, we've actually done quite a bit. Yeah, we started chapter three. We're getting into the Ember. Um, what's this mod called? Oh, no, it's a mod called now. What's this mod called? Ember's Rekindled. That's the one. We're getting into that mod pack now. Um, and we're also getting into our mobs. I've also given you an exploration of the base. We've done a little upgrading to our machines here. And uh, yeah, so we've done quite a bit, guys. Oh, I also explained about uh, storage drawers mod. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, guys. Um, Please check the links out in the description, guys. Go and make sure you check our channel sponsor as well. You know, they're good enough to sponsor us and help this channel out. So please um, be good in return and go make a purchase from them. Every purchase you make as well also helps me as a content creator and helps this channel. And uh, yeah, guys. Apart from that, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. And guys, I'll see you in the next video.